Hi students, today we are going to take a new topic, social stratification. This is a commonly heard word or commonly heard concept. So let us understand that. First of all, what is social stratification? For that, let us take stratification first. What is stratification? From where it comes? Stratification comes from a word called strata, which means layers. It comes from geography, not from sociology. We are adopting that concept here. Layers, strata, where you hear in geography, rocks. Rocks have been arranged as layers. So similarly, society is arranged as layers of social groups. This is what we call as social stratification. But there is a problem. People do tend to assume that it is always vertical. That means when you hear social stratification, we will think about a pyramid where upper class, lower class, it is not always like that. There is a problem. According to Dipanka Gupta, sociology, social stratification is a kind of complicated word. Stratification can be of two types. One is hierarchical and other with differentiation. Let us come to hierarchy first. That is what I explained about the pyramids. Society or social groups are being divided according to vertical layers or in vertical layers. That is hierarchy. For example, you can see class is a good example for that. Caste is a good example for that. Upper class, lower class or middle class. Here, the layers are vertical. You can see vertical layers in a pyramid. At the same time, if you take caste, it's the same. Upper caste, lower caste. Or in a more sociological way, Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vaishyas and Shudras. This is hierarchy. That means, what is hierarchy? This is ranked. This is ranked. They are having better rank. These people are with lower rank. So, what you can find is in a hierarchy, you can see inequality. That inequality being vertically arranged. That is what we call as hierarchy as a part of social stratification. But at the same time, you can think about differentiation too. What is differentiation? For example, in a society, apart from this, you see horizontal stratification too. What is horizontal stratification? For example, you can see religious groups, linguistic groups, similarly, lot. For example, you take religion, for example, here six, Hindus, Muslims, Jains, they exist as social group, but they are not, one is not above the other. Here, all are the same. So there is differences, or there is a differentiation you can see here, but they are not vertically arranged. One is not above the other. That is horizontal differentiation. So we have a tendency to assume that stratification is always hierarchical. No, Dipanka Gupta, a sociologist from JNU, says differentiation is also a part of stratification. Again, social stratification can be considered in two ways. For example, with an open system and a closed system. Now, I am talking about the hierarchical one. That's the vertical hierarchical one. What is open and what is closed? For example, to explain open system, let me take class as an example. 
in class if you take the vertical pyramid this is the upper caste, this is the lower caste and middle caste sorry class I made a mistake it is class I said caste. So, class this is open for example assume a person may be a beggar you take a case of a beggar who he belongs to a lower class or he belongs to the lower class can he be able to come to upper class of course it is possible if he is winning a lotto or a lottery on the next day he will reach here so the class position is alterable that means a person can easily go there go up the ladder a middle class person can become rich a lower class person getting good job can become middle class so there is a social mobility in class hmm? for that for, for that mobility sometimes we will say you need cultural capital for example education these kind of things will help you to reach there a lower class person getting education and getting a good job he become middle class what is that mobility social mobility here that inequality is reducing so a person is getting more life chances when he gains education so he is a he is getting a chance to go up the ladder next case is closed system let us take caste system brahmins kshatriyas vaishyas and shudras these all are vertically arranged but can a shudra become a brahmin or a kshatriya become a brahmin quite impossible according to many sociologists for example if you consider Yemen Srinivasan a sociologist structural functionalist that is uh, for uh, at this point you don't need it he says social mobility is possible in caste 2 let us forget that argument for the time being what, what is happening here is the mobility is very less for example if I am belonging to one caste can I change my caste or can I change my status to upper one not possible that means there is a vertical hierarchy where the life chances are less by birth it has been defined you won't be able to go up you won't be able to change the caste this is called closed system although people say that the caste system is a closed system I also took it as an example of closed system there are many other arguments saying that it is not closed it can be open too so let us conclude the topic of social stratification social stratification can be of two types differentiation and hierarchical in hierarchical we spoke about caste and class in differentiation we speak spoke about the linguistic difference religious differences and in the hierarchy we spoke about open system and closed system in that too we took caste and class as an example this is about social stratification we will come up with more videos soon if you have any doubts about social strat stratification write it to neo or else put a comment in the comment box we will come back to it will reply we want you to understand the concept new IS Academy is willing to help you at any cost our service will be available to you always make use of it understand the concept and get the things done thank you